if you're just breeding for getting a bigger and bigger and juicier and more delicious fruit, then you're creating a genetic bottleneck where you're actually losing a lot of the genetic variability that would be, for instance, in this wild species. Now you've lost that because all you've cared about is just getting a bigger and bigger fruit. But some of these wild species still are resistant to diseases. So if we can make the right crosses, we can make our crops be resistant to diseases. The ultimate importance of our research is to be able to broaden the genetic tools that breeders can use to improve our crops. The introduction of wild germplasm or wild genes from wild tomatoes really has already improved our uh, crops a lot, especially in tomato where there's a really narrow, what's called a narrow genetic base, and that means there's really no genetic variation between all the different kinds of varieties of tomato that you might see. There's maybe a few genes that are different between a yellow tomato and a red tomato, for example.